as we reported, the that J.J. Watt was going to the Arizona Cardinals. The contract has been released in terms of the deal. It has three incentives that we'll get to in a minute. He's going to make $12 million in bonus. His first year, he'll make $14.5 million in base value. He, going into the offseason, if he gets... 10 sacks, he will receive an additional million dollars. And off this, off the fact that he had 10 sacks, but then on the off season, he'll receive an, another million dollars. And then in the 2022 campaign, he will receive another million dollars if he has 10 sacks so the contract is worth a the contract if he doesn't have the incentives is 28 million dollars but if he does it equals out to 31 million dollars so it's a great deal probably for both sides I'm a little surprised he did not go to I'm surprised he didn't go to Pittsburgh supposedly he got big money off of from Cleveland and Green Bay it just didn't happen. He didn't go to Green Bay probably because he didn't want to be like, oh, I got to do all this by myself. They don't really have any pass rush threats. And then in Cleveland, I think it was just because he didn't want to face against his brothers. But that's me. I don't know. Where an, a saddened more a person leaving is Alex Smith. Alex Smith and the Washington football team are going to part ways. And it's... We have people like Michael Wilbon who said it was shameful because Alex Smith came out and said that the Washington football team did not really want him after the surgery. After the surgeries and when he came back until they needed him. Which, I understand what he was upset about. And, Alex Smith now is 36, and he's going to be moving onto a new team, where if you look at the Washington football team, who's the quarterback now? Because you got rid of Alex Smith, you got rid of Dwayne Haskins, and now, who is it? Is it Taylor Heineke? Is it Kyle Allen? Are you going to go draft somebody? There's so many questions that need to be answered. Are you going into free agency? We don't know. People that we've talked to have said that and this kind of segues into the next topic is the 49ers called the Panthers about Teddy Bridgewater and now I like Teddy Bridgewater I like Alex Smith too I don't think it's shameful for what Washington is doing I think it's disappointing because he's a great player or at least a good player where if you got Teddy Bridgewater, I liked him in Minnesota. I thought when he went to New Orleans, I thought that was a great decision by him. Learned for one of the best, if not the best of all time in terms of generation. One of the smartest guys in Drew Brees, who we'll get to in a minute. And then to go and get the opportunity when Drew was hurt and play. And then go to Carolina and get the opportunity to be the starter, I thought it was fantastic. I was happy for him. And now he, there's talk of him getting traded. And it's like, he did not play terrible. He, when they lost Christian McCaffrey, he was the guy that was having to do everything. And he did fairly well in it, sub suggesting that it was Matt Rule's 
first year as a head coach, he did fairly well. But I don't think it's shameful what Washington was doing. But I think it's a little weird to think that Washington didn't talk to Carolina about Teddy Bridgewater. Or Russell Wilson. Or Deshaun Watson. It's a little weird. Where the Cowboys and Dak Prescott have resumed talks. Dak said, reported by Jane Slater, NFL Network Jane Slater, she said, Dak wants to be, quote-unquote, right behind Patrick Mahomes in terms of money. And everyone went nuts. Oh, he wants 44. He doesn't deserve it. This and that. And Mahomes is a two-time. He's, he's been to the Super Bowl twice. Won one. Been an MVP. Been a Super Bowl MVP. Why does Dak think he deserves that? Because the NFL works like this. Whoever gets paid last usually gets the bigger contract. Patrick Mahomes was paid so heavily that no one was really going to pass him for a while. But, if you look at teams like where you see these quarterbacks just get their way out, like Russell Wilson's trying to get his way out, Deshaun Watson the same. It's the I think the Cowboys are looking at it as, we think he's worth it. We don't think we don't believe in what the people are saying. I'm just trying to say, well, he's not worth thirty-eight to me. He's worth thirty-six. Well, that's not how the NFL works. These quarterbacks are smart. They understand the fact of if they're getting chipped. Why would he take thirty-six? It was like Mike Floyo said from Pro Football Talk said he, he should take 32. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, two years ago, he should have took 32. A year ago, he could have took 36, because that was the league. That was where the franchise tag was. It was $36 million. About $35, $36 million. That makes sense. Why would he take less than 38? Because it's 37.7. Why would he take less than 38? It doesn't make sense. Where in the next order of business is, and it's, I tell you something, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to see that he's still capable of doing this. But before we get to that topic, We've heard everything coming out of the Cowboys camp, and as well as the Dak camp, that these talks have been cordial, no animosity. They're actually happy. Dak is still going to the facility to get treatment on his rehab. By the way, it's going very well. So, it, this is not like a Deshaun Watson situation where he doesn't want to be there. It's just, they're going through this contract, and it's been better and there's talks and there's no anger issues to it and that's very good as I said no animosity it's fantastic because these negotiations as well in the past for Dak Prescott have been a little dicey on some circumstances but I think it's a great job by Stephen to try Stephen Jones to keep this Keep the peace as much as you can. Now, to get into this story, there's no easy segue to do this. But, is Drew Brees retiring or is he not? We've heard this story. Is he retiring or is he not? Well, I don't know if he is retiring. Because, on Saturday... One of his friends in the in the inner circle of him posted a video on Instagram. It had Drew Brees 
with a workout sled and had him pushing 90 pounds down over down a hill and pushing it back up a hill. And he looked leaner and he looked better. And I didn't think that was possible. But I think if Drew does come back, I think the Saints are going to be happy, but the Saints want a decision. They want to know. Are you thinking about coming back? If you are, come on. We don't need we don't need to wait. You can come back. We, we're not going to say anything. Because you're still tied in for another year. And you're only going to cost a million dollars anyway. So it's not really any, anything bad. But if you're not, you got to tell us so we either pay Jameis or we pay someone else to come in. But I think that I don't know if he's going to retire. And I kind of hope he doesn't retire. I want him to play one more year and actually play in front of fans somewhere. Speaking of, a longer season could be the making as the NFLPA this year is going to talk about a 17-game season in 2021. In 2021... So they're gonna, the NFLPA is going to have to consider a 17-game season. I like the idea. I say there's about a 75% chance it happens, but I like the idea. I think I think if we have fans in the stands, more people are going to want to watch the games. I think that was the issue. I think people have stopped or have started to not watch the games because it, there was no people there. So the home field advantage did not feel like home field advantage. Unless you were able to bring in people. But I do believe there's about a 70-75% chance that it does happen. At least this year. Maybe a higher chance probably next year. And in the, one of the final ones today, we're going to talk about Tom Brady's surgery. It's an update. He had knee surgery. He had his knee surgery... It went well. It was told it was just a quote unquote clean up. And yes, it's a clean up, so that usually does happen. It's not like, oh my gosh, Tom got really hurt. No, they said it was a clean up. Clean up. But then Bruce Arian said he would be out for a few months. So no one knows, but poorly, in full disclosure, nobody knows what the injury is, nobody knows what it is, no one heard anything about it. So it's very shocking. As another shocking event and a saddened event has happened though. Irv Cross has passed away at the age of 81. Now a lot of you don't know who Irv Cross is. Irv Cross was one of the first black African American men to be in sports broadcast. It hadn't happened. And you think of how much, how many African American sports broadcasters there are now. That was because of a cross who played cornerback for the Eagles, was known for NFL today. He was also in the booth for a period of time. And I just want to send my deepest Condolences to Irv Cross's family, to fam, to his family, and we're just going to end the video with a moment of silence.